Hi everyone, welcome, Coach Morris here. Today, using a stick, one of my favorite prop tool to work with, uh, whether it's for mobilizing and stretching our body or strengthening, uh, today we're gonna use it to stretch, move, mobilize our body. A great way to start off your day or to wind down after a long work day. Uh, just to loosen up some tension and knots you may have. So go ahead and grab a stick, whatever you find, broom, swoofer, everything can work. Um, and we're gonna start with feet wide apart, knees are slightly bent and you wanna hold the stick slightly wider than the shoulders width and hold it between your thumbs and your index fingers, just like that. And we're gonna start reaching your arms up and over the head and lower down. Inhale as you're reaching up and back. And exhale to lower down. Breathe in, reaching up and back as far as you can go, but you don't wanna force it. And exhale to lower. Reaching up and back. Also make sure that you're maintaining a neutral spine here so you don't want to hyperextend the back as you're reaching up and back with the arms. Just mobilizing through the shoulders. Two more. Breathe in. Up. And exhale to lower. One more. Stay up with the arms. Now, we bend the elbows, we try to bring the stick behind our back without nodding your head forward. See if you can bring the stick behind you. Now, for those who have tight shoulders, you might, um, you might need to open your hands a little bit wider. Grip it here a little bit wider and open up the chest, reaching up again and down. And again, so hold it as wide as needed for you to bring the stick behind you easily with just a little bit gentle stretch to the front of your body. Now, when you lower down the stick, you reach your breastbones up towards the ceiling. So we wanna extend the upper back, the thoracic spine. Still not moving the pelvis. So make sure you're not sticking the butt out here. You may wanna tuck under a little bit as well. And go up and back to open. And forward. Two more at your own pace. Now as you lower down and open up, you inhale. And up. One more. Inhale to open. Let's do one more time because we want to keep the stick behind us and let it sit back there. Now make sure it's not sitting here on your neck. You want to take it down more towards your top of your shoulder blades. And again, you might need to um, take the hands, place your hands a little bit wider here. Okay, if you have really tight chest and shoulders, that might happen and that's fine. That's what we're here for, to stretch and make things better, looser. And go side to side, rotate the spine, pivoting on the back leg. So allow the heel to go off and turn. Exhale to turn. Now, if you find it really um, not comfortable, strain into your muscles here, just hold the stick in front of you. Oops, hold it right here to your chest. That's fine. One more, each side. And back to center. Now, still with the feet wide apart, parallel, now, we're hinging at the hips, lean forward, creating a nice long tabletop, and then back up. So this is the good morning exercise. I'm gonna show it sideways. So again, straight legs, lean forward. You might feel a stretch here if your hamstrings are tight, 
and up. Now, if your hamstrings are really tight and it's on the expense of your form, meaning you're here in a rounded spine, you want to bend your knee slightly and then try to lengthen through the spine and up. Okay, we just want to get to feel a gentle stretch here in the hamstrings and up. So you don't have to go all the way down to like a tabletop position, that's fine. And up and hinge forward and up. Two more. And before we do the last one, put the stick in front of you and go ahead and lean forward. Now the stick is supporting you, so go ahead and go as low as you're comfortable here. You can let the shoulders, chest sink down between the arms. Stick your butt out, sit bones out. Bend your knees and straighten the knees. And go, just bending and straightening the legs a few times. And down, and as you straighten the legs, again, send your sits bones far back. Get that nice hamstring stretch. And last one. Let's hold it with the knees slightly bent. Now, spine, you wanna tuck the tailbone under, flex the spine, nice C curve, and then lengthen out. So you tilt the pelvis backwards, curling the tailbone under, upper back as well, nice and round, and then lengthening out. Make sure you're not dragging the shoulders here as well. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears, and go, flexion, extension, and breathe out. Breathe in. One more. And hold your spine nice and flat, still with your knees slightly bent. Now we're gonna take one arm back, open up the chest, look over your shoulder, complete a circle with the arm, and back to hold the stick. Same thing with the other side. Other arm reaching back. Once it's passing the, your hips, Height, you want to rotate through the shoulders out, look over and in. Going back now, open, rotating the shoulders out. So we want to rotate through the spine. Nice, full circle through the shoulder. At your own pace, slow, no rush. You want to inhale, take a deep, full breath in as you open. Exhale to release. Inhale. Exhale. One more on each side. and stay here. Now, straight legs, I'm gonna face you so you can see what we're doing. Feet wider, maybe slightly wider here. Just move your hips from side to side. So with straight legs, we're not bending the knees, just moving through the hips, stretching the inner thighs. And now adding your knees. So you want to bend one leg lower down the body and then over to the other side. And keep going from side to side. Feel that nice gentle stretch to your thighs inner. Heel staying down on the floor. One more for each side. Stay center and roll yourself slowly all the way up. All right, now with the stick, we're gonna do circles. 
So like we're stirring a big pot of soup. So go ahead and bend your left leg and then reach your arms to the opposite direction. Now go around with the stick, shift your body weight over to the other side, complete a circle and keep going. Same direction, going out and switch and up. So nice circle, We're moving in circle all the way around. It's the one more. And reverse. So bend your right leg now, reach your arms to the opposite direction. So you're getting a stretch, you're getting a stretch also to your lat muscles here, the side. And go ahead, shift it over to the other side as you turn the hands to the opposite direction and up. Nice and flow. All the way around. Two more. Last one. All right, stay center. Now take the stick to your side, bend your knee slightly and reaching up and over. And coming back to center. And again, up and over. And center. Stay over to the side. You can hold the stick as well for support. Now make sure you're not turning. The tendency here is to turn to avoid that stretch here. So you wanna stay frontal with your hips and shoulders as much as possible. Breathe, reach, reach, reach. Feels good. And then bring yourself up. Let's do the other side. So one arm is holding the stick. Soften your knees, reaching up and over. And center. And again, reach up and over. One more. Stay there. Hold it. And again, you can grab the stick, reach further out. And again, make sure you're not turning. So staying frontal with your hips, chest. And back to center. Let's just roll the head slowly. So take it sideways, down, other side. Nice, gentle circle and reverse direction. And back to center. All right, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it, this short sequence, just stretching with the stick. So just a few examples um, of what you can do with a stick. Um, so again, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye now.